that look amazing right do you want to learn how to fly like hollywood well look no further because in this video i will show you how first we need to set up the control settings and gimbal settings and everything so let's do that first of all i would suggest to use manual settings and shutter speed two times higher than the frame rate and iso as low as possible because i'm capturing in 25 frames per second my shutter speed is 1 50th of a second and i'm using nd filters to lower the amount of light hitting the sensor to keep the image properly exposed and to achieve that motion blur having that shutter speed lower in control settings here we can see all of my settings but remember settings won't get you very skilled practice well and now it's time to fly our first shot will be a reveal shot Actually, our first se sequence will be all about the reveal shots. So we want to reveal this building right here. We'll start with going quite low, quite very, very low. And remember about the shutter speed. If we have ND filters, we can keep it low so we can achieve this beautiful, beautiful motion blur we have here. And then we shall tilt up the camera and slightly maybe increase the altitude because flying forwards fast we can lose altitude and bam we are revealing this amazing building just like that very simple now we are kind of increasing the altitude and slightly moving to the right while also keeping the building in the center with the uh, orbiting stick which is i mean the yaw stick that's what it's called and that's how we reveal the building and continue on showing it in a cinematic and smooth way just like that all right our next shot will be a reveal of traffic we shall reveal cars on the bridge so this is also very important in many uh, shoots you have to like show something in a very cool way of course you could track the car just like that but it's way more cooler if you uh, if you reveal it with a cool move so here we will start low again really close to the water and we shall move s diagonally while uh, actually let's tilt the camera slightly up we shall move diagonally, slightly in, up the altitude, and tilting down the camera. And let's hope that there's a car to reveal. Yeah, there were some cars to reveal. And then if you're feeling lucky, you can now change the look to the city. And now we are like saying that this car is going to this city. And that's a shot from a movie. <laughs> All right, cool, very cool, very cool. Our next shot will be something similar, but this time we shall be revealing the city, which makes it uh, slightly more simple. So let's move in here. Let's move in here. Uh, let's see how low we are. Okay, three, two, seven, five, something like that. And we, we do not want to see the tower in its full glory, so let's hide it. Let's tilt up the camera, fly forward slightly sideways, and again, tilt down the camera, altitude up, and we are revealing the tower with this pretty cool move, just like that. All right one more thing you can do is reveal things backwards so for example let's approach this tower right here and let's uh, let's take a look at its lower side and we will we'll be flying backwards and also we'll be going down with the altitude 
So, all right, here's the tower. And now let's start moving backwards, slightly tilting off the camera, revealing the whole tower. And once we can see that we are over everything, we can start putting the altitude down. And we are over water, which is safe. And that's how we reveal the city. We started from the tower, very simple move, nothing special. Just combination of simple moves will make these shots look really cool. What I have found, well, what I have found out flying drones is that the more moves you combine, the the cooler the shot looks. For example, I could be doing this. I could be just, let's see, let's go in sport mode. I could be just following a car, just like that. And that's a follow shot. It's okay, it can be used, but it's not nearly as fun as if it would, if we would be following this train, for example, tilting up the altitude and uh, tilting down the camera, upping the altitude, and then slightly going into this backwards move. And that's a more interesting tracking shot. Don't you think so? I think so. All right. What else? Then, of course, landscape shots. We want to show the city. And we can do it like this. We can go sideways and tilt up the camera slowly. That was too fast. Okay, I'm in sport mode. That's why my gimbal settings are different. So, let's do it the other way. So we are flying sideways and tilting up the camera and revealing the whole city. Beautiful, right? Let's do another tracking shot. This time we shall start from above. Let's catch, catch a car. Slightly dark, but it will get brighter on the way. Okay, let's get, get after this car. So we are starting low, uh, I mean high and we want to approach it but it's flying too fast okay we are <laughs> it's driving too fast i'm fl i'm flying not as fast but uh, i forgot to explain what i'm doing here but yeah basically now we are tilt going up in the altitude slightly still pointing at the car tilting down the camera and i messed up sometimes that can happen all right, now let's switch to cine mode, which will allow us to do uh, slow and precise moves. Let's say, for example, you need to capture something uh, like a building or maybe a statue, like here we have. Maybe let's turn up the ISO a bit so we can see more. So, how would we start? I would start with flying real low looking up at the statue showing it in its full glory and i would start picking up the altitude tilting down the camera while orbiting the statue showing the details on the faces because i think faces are very important because we humans uh, tend to check faces <laughs> and I messed up the composition but it happens you know and now we shall orbit in at the front that is how I would do something with a statue also well that was extremely advanced actually now let's do it maybe not so advanced um, so um, let's say we have a shot like this and we want to orbit it while going up so let's orbit it while going up 
tilting down the camera and going on a top down shot over this over this statue just like that just like that still going uh, slightly messed up the composition but if I would be doing it like three four times we could do it perfectly and then we are up over the statue and we can do the same thing uh, reverse so let's get down lowering the altitude and let's maybe slightly backward because I want to go next to this face so let's start with the other face the face that's being saved lowering the altitude tilting up the camera going in uh, to the rotation tilting up the camera more going into the guy sun backwards uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I messed one I, I messed this one up all right never mind I think you got the idea the more shots you combine in one beautiful seamless motion the more cinematic the shot will look especially if you uh, have the composition right the composition also is extremely important in these shots you can have a fluid epic smooth shot but if the composition will be like not there there's no point on uh, making these fluid smooth shots. So remember, composition and fluid smooth combined shots. That will make your videos look amazing. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.